So as some of you guys know, I've reviewed the MSI GE76, the latest one with the 12th gen i9 12900HK processor and NVIDIA's fastest RTX 3080 Ti that you can get in a laptop. And this thing just dominates any laptop on the market in terms of performance. But I also happen to have a desktop computer with an i9 12900K processor, also with 32 gigabytes of RAM, and an RTX 3080 Ti. I wanted to compare the two to see how different they are in terms of performance. Obviously, obviously, the desktop is going to win, but what shocked me was how incredibly faster these laptops are getting. They're literally becoming like little desktop portable computers in terms of performance, and that's really amazing. Now, the first thing you need to decide is whether you want a desktop or a laptop. The beauty about buying a desktop is, you know, you can upgrade it down the road if a part fails or if you just want something faster. You can only really upgrade the RAM and the drives in laptops, so you can't swap out the GPU or CPU if something new comes out down the road. And on top of that, usually a desktop is cheaper. Like my desktop, if you were to build it today, would cost $3,900. That's with scalper prices for the GPU. And this guy's a bit more expensive at $4,000, but it comes with a display, a keyboard, and a trackpad attached to it. Whereas with a desktop computer, you have to go out and buy those things separately. And wow, the performance on these guys are absolutely insane. If you're talking about synthetic benchmarks, specifically Cinebench R23, the single core clock speeds are almost identical. In fact, this laptop stays neck and neck with the desktop version of the CPU. Things start to change when you're talking about multi-core speeds. There's more cores on the i9-12900K. It has two more performance cores, so the multi-core speeds are going to be significantly better. But the one thing that I discovered was that this Laptop CPU is just as fast as the desktop version of the i5-12600K. It beats out the 11th gen or the 11900K from last year, and it's on par with the 5800X. It doesn't get past the 5900X from AMD, but the fact that it can keep up with last year's best is amazing. Now, if you're talking about creative work, the only difference you're going to see is anywhere from a 14 to 16% performance boost if you decide to go with the desktop instead. This is specifically true if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro and you're doing a lot of video editing. Obviously, the desktop version is going to handle it better. There's better cooling required to go with it. And if you're using Photoshop, I honestly don't think you're going to feel a difference in performance if you're using the laptop version of the CPU or the desktop version. After Effects is different though. That requires a lot more VRAM, a lot more processing power, so the desktop version will handle it better. If you're talking about compiling code, I ran a Mozilla Firefox compile test and the desktop version only won by four minutes. The MacBook Pro M1 Max did beat out this guy, but it only did it by three minutes. So overall, all three of these devices are extremely fast to compile code. As for Crossmark, which is a benchmark that measures productivity, creativity, and responsiveness, the desktop took a nice lead with this laptop coming in a nice, comfortable second. But the one area that I saw the biggest difference in performance was gaming. And look, even though these two products, the laptop and desktop, share very similar single core clock speeds, there was a nice little gap at 1080p if you're a gamer. The bigger difference though was when it came down to QHD. That's where I saw the biggest difference in performance using a desktop over a laptop. Like you have to understand, right? Like this is using a 280 watt or 330 watt power brick. In my desktop computer, I have 850 watts to utilize. The GPU's pushing over 300, and this guy, I think the total max is what, 175 watts? So that's a big difference in terms of what you can provide. Plus, there's just better cooling on a desktop because it's bigger, you have bigger things to slap coolers on, so it's easier to manage. And since we're talking about cooling, I was shocked how well this thing ran in terms of thermals. It stayed very cool, whereas my desktop 12th gen processor needs a really beefy, cooler. Like I'm using a 240 millimeter all-in-one water cooler and it's not enough. You know, like I think I'm going to swap it out for a 360 millimeter version because it just requires a lot of cooling. Not that it overheats or anything. It's just that if I want the fans to stay lower and not be so loud, it just needs slightly better cooling to go with it. Now in terms of noise, the laptop will get louder more often just because again, you're dealing with a smaller form factor, but don't get me wrong, my desktop computer does get loud too. So here's the bottom line. The best desktop processor and GPU is always going to be faster than the latest laptop GPU and CPU. We know that already, like this is a given. But it's amazing how powerful these new 12th gen processors are 
I am so glad there's some heated competition going on right now between Apple and their battery efficient, powerful ARM chips. AMD still has to show us their stuff, which is coming out soon. I just think that Intel, in, in the PC space at least, is gonna have the more powerful processor this year, but I still think AMD is gonna offer the best battery life. And it's still gonna give you enough performance that you're gonna be happy with it. So yeah, this is a very exciting time and it's not a bad time to buy a laptop either. So if you're one of those individuals that say desktop is always better than laptop, you're right if you're talking performance, but depending on your lifestyle, a laptop might be better. I hope this video gave you some insight to help you make your next decision. If you're interested in hearing any more of my opinions, make sure to like and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.